Hey everyone, what's up? <laughs> okay, so if um my um if the camera looks kind of weird, it's because I'm using my camcorder this time. Um, sadly, I'm not using my phone anymore because I gave it to, to um one of my neighbors. So. I traded that for a uh, tablet, which I'm still waiting for. Um, um, but, anyways, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to like. I'm like really bored right now. <laughs> like I don't know. But I guess um, what I wanted to talk about. Um, I mean I've. It was it's obviously BDSM from the title. Um, you know, it's been a while since I have actually made a video about this. Um, it's on my older channel, which I don't use anymore. Um, but I don't know. I got like a lot of hate because of it. Um, <coughs> but. From, for BDSM, I'm actually into a lot of shit. Um, like, oh my god. <laughs> this is like really weird for me because, you know, I never thought I'd actually would have to make this video again. Um, because I'm not really used to talking about, you know, my kinks and fetishes, but... But, yeah. Anyways. I'm just gonna, like go at it. Okay, so, um, for anyone who is into BDSM, I'm into bondage, um, whips, chains, <laughs> handcuffs, um, collars, um, I don't know, I guess those would be my kinks, I guess. Um, I'm into fear play. Um, there's so much, there's so many types of fear plays out there. Like, it can go from, I mean, I'm not saying I'm into this, but I actually know someone who is, and that is rape. Um, I'm totally against that, because I was actually raped and molested three times. Um, that will probably be for another video. Um, <clears throat> but, I don't know, like... I don't know, it's just so weird for me because I like fear play as in being hit, but not being hit, like, you like lay there and you think you're going to get hit, but you know that you're not, you know, it's like, it builds up that fear that you, something is going to happen to you, but reality wise, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I really don't know how that started for me. I mean, I kind of do, but that's, I guess, for another story, I guess. Um, let's see. Um, Fetish-wise, <coughs> um, I'm into DDLG. I'm into pet play. Um, and this is where I got so much hate um, on my old videos because I came out openly saying I'm into DDLG, um, I'm into pet play, um, I don't know, it's like, I guess, <laughs> it's just hard for me to talk about it because I don't want <laughs> my videos to get stolen again and get made fun of, um, you know, I don't want to get ridiculed, I don't want people talking about me because of this and saying, oh, she's a pedophile or, oh, she's in little kids when that isn't even fucking true, it's like, <sighs> I don't know, but, um, I've been into DDLG for a few good years, I guess since I was like, 17 and I didn't really know that 
like, like, I don't know. I guess I'm a child at heart, and, you know, I always watch cartoons when I was in high school. Um, always watch cartoons, always watch Disney. Fucking loved stuffed animals like crazy, and, <laughs> like, I met, I got into my very first serious relationship, and, you know, I guess he was giving me signs that he was a daddy, but I didn't know anything about it. Like, I didn't know nothing about BDSM when I was 16 <laughs> or 17. I didn't know anything about it. Um, you know, we've been together for a while, and a few years ago, he, I finally came out to him. I'm like, okay, well... I'm a little, I'm into BDSM, I'm into DDLG, found out my best friend who I met him from, she's a little as well, I didn't know that, um, and I found out that he's a daddy, like a daddy dom, and he told me he was giving me signs that he was, like, years back when we were together and I'm like I didn't know that I did not fucking know that like so yeah like <laughs> I don't know I guess they're just so weird because I did not see the signs as well as I as I should have I mean my best friend as who's a little I should have known right then and there that she was because, you know, she had pacifiers and all that. Um, I just thought it was like a rave thing, I guess. I don't know. Because I thought all ravers used pacifiers, but apparently I'm, I was wrong about that. <laughs> um, yeah. But as a little... Uh, you know, I still like cartoons. Um, I still like stuffies. I like playing board games. <laughs> but I'm not like, I don't know, I guess I'm not a typical little that likes cute and frilly things and pink and rainbows and shit, I guess, like normal littles do. I'm more of a alternative little. Um, because I love bats, I love snakes, um, fucking love Invader Zim and Happy Tree Friends, like crazy, like those are my cartoons, all time, like those are my fucking cartoons, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I love creepy dolls, um, I don't know, it's just weird. I love the color black and pastel. Like, black and pastel together are, like, amazing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm on this DDLG site, which I'm not going to give the name out because I don't want any fakers or haters to go on there and start bashing everybody because... I've actually experienced that before, and it's not cool. I think that's how um, Juggalo Book got shut down, is because there were a lot of fakers on that. Um, but, I don't know. It's like, I feel at home when I'm on it, because I can be myself, and that is, you know, I'm plus-sized. And I'm alternative, and I can still feel like I'm home. Like, I've made a lot of friends on that site. And, you know, it's just really awesome. I always look forward to talking to people on there. I'm on it. Because it's like my escape from my stressful life, and an escape from Facebook, and it's stressful shit on there. And I can just be myself on there. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, 
you know, there's a lot of littles that will actually do these videos about their little life and what they do in it, and it's just, I don't think I could ever do that because I don't think I'm ready for it. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just more into talking about it than showing you my actual life because I don't know it's just it's kind of weird for me I guess like I'm still trying to like get everything figured out of what I really am like as a little like I'm still slightly new to it if that makes sense because most of my life I've been a slave or in other terms, a Kajira, which is actually different from a slave. Like, they're somewhat the same, but totally different. And, you know, I was basically forced into being a Kajira with my ex-boyfriend um, back when. And, you know, that kind of stuck to me. So, you know... I can't do anything without asking permission for everything and I know that can get very irritating for some doms if they don't want you to be a slave. But and I always have that fear of getting punished. Like if I fuck up something. I mean, that's even in general. Like even like when I'm not in subspace or in little space, if I'm just like at work, you know, if I'm at work and I do something to mess up, like, if I don't clean the showers properly or if I forget to do a room, I have that total fear of getting screamed at, yelled at, just, and I know my boss would never do that to me, but I just, I cower and I, I freak out and I gotta take it, but, I don't know, he just, he really messed me up big time, like, seriously. Um, and I'm not going to bring up names, but because I don't want to, like, put them on blast, but there's a video in my, in my uh, YouTube channel about him. I can't remember if I used his name or not, but the video is down in my profile, my little channel thing. Um, and if you see that, that's him. That's my ex-master. I learned a lot about him, and I'm so glad I'm not with him anymore. And whoever dates him, or if somebody knows him, I feel so bad for you. Like, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah. Um, that's basically it for this video. I'm probably going to post some more videos and try to put more topics out there but yeah that's it for this video so make sure to like hit that subscribe button <laughs> and make sure to comment down below all right bye <laughs>